now that I detangled my hair, I'm going to add a little bit of the argan oil just on the tips of my hair. that I've been using. Um, this is my shampoo. It's a pretty nice chunk. I like cutting them in thirds so that they stay fresh in the shower because they're oil-based so they can kind of get a little bit uh, soft. First off, I'm gonna apply some rosehip oil, and this one is by Aura Acacia, um, and it's USDA organic. Next, I'm gonna put on this organic Argan Pumpkin Face Oil by Chagrin Valley, um, and this has a lot of organic ingredients like argan oil, pumpkin seed oil, sunflower oil infused with organic botanicals, calendula, plantain, elderberry flowers, marshmallow rue, organic tamanu oil, organic jojoba oil. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to my face. Next, I'm gonna add some organic sea buckthorn berry oil to my face. And this is basically the same oil um, that I was using in my body soap in the shower. Um, I just find that it really soothes my skin, especially in the winter time, but also just year round because I have rosacea and I can get like really dry and itchy skin around this time of the year. But I just like adding this because I feel like it really helps reduce that. And lastly, I've been using this product by Herbivore in Emerald um, and it has CBD and adaptogens um, and it's a deep moisture glow oil. I actually got this as a sample um, but I've really been enjoying it and I don't know. I don't know if I'll buy it but as of now I really, really enjoy it and I like the way it leaves my skin feeling super soft and yeah. My forehead is like sandpaper so I really want to make sure that I absorb all this oil into my big ass head. Also gotta moisturize that mustache, you know what I'm saying? I look like I'm ready to take your girl. Okay. I'm gonna moisturize my lips with this cute lip balm that I got at the checkout line at Whole Foods. It's this really cute wooden lip balm, handcrafted. Um, it's called Be Bella. It smells really good and it's in Door County Cherry. Shout out to you if you watch my Door County vlog. Um, you're probably like a real G and i really appreciate you and i see you i see you right there and i love you first thing i'm going to add a little bit of concealer and this is by the brand well people um in tone medium biocorrect multi-action concealer a high impact mousse formula powdered by organic botanicals Caffeine depuffs, biopeptide complex firms, pomegranate brightens, aloe soothes, shea hydrates, and so on and so forth. I'm just gonna like squeeze it a little bit to kind of blend it because these natural products tend to be very oily, I feel. Um, so I'm gonna just give it a little massage. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my Real Techniques little sponge guy. That's very hard. 
I finally got myself a clean foundation that I kind of like. Um, and this one's by Pacifica. Um, it's called a light clean foundation, 100% vegan, cruelty free, oil free, anti shine with a satin finish. And this one is a neutral tan. Um, so yeah, it's formulated without silicone, formaldehyde, phthalates, mineral oil, parabens, or petroleum, which I like. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm using the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in a soft black um, to just add some color and also stick them up okay so i'm actually gonna put some concealer on my eyelid with like a base and then we're gonna just kind of do a little do a little smiley face like that Now I'm going to go in with this Pacifica Neutralizing Mineral Mattifier um, and this is 100% vegan, cruelty free um, and it's made with cherry, coconut and other shit. So next I'm going to lightly line my eyes with this Well People Black Eyeliner. Who else profusely cries when they do any kind of makeup? <laughs> oh my god. Now I'm gonna apply some mascara and this one is by Pacifica uh, Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mineral Mascara and this one is in shade Supernova. By the way, I actually thrifted this cute little mirror. <laughs> it's so cute. I think it's made out of metal because it's super heavy. I got it for 99 cents, which is a steal in my opinion. Next thing we're gonna do is my favorite, which is lips. I'm gonna line my lips with this Bite Lip Liner. I'm gonna add some Bite Lipstick, and this is in color Cayenne. I'm using the Real Techniques in 425 as a lip smudge. Now I'm going in with the shade Whiskey and I'm just going to grab this Real Techniques brush in 317. It's a smudge liner and I'm just going to accentuate the inner corners and the liner a little bit more. Now I'm going to go in with the Beneco's Natural Beauty Natural Lip Gloss in shade Kiss Me and I'm just gonna top it off with a little gloss.
I'm gonna go in with the Well People Bio Bronzer in the color Natural Tan and my Real Techniques 421 brush, um, soft accent. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of, a little bit of like color there. I want to add a little bit of flush of color there, kind of as a blush more than a bronzer per se, like that. I actually thrifted this cute little sleeping gown. It's 100% cotton, which I love. I love 100% cotton. Just got makeup all over it, um, but it was a lot longer. But I cut it to be shorter. Cause always life. I'm really loving this nail combo. It's giving me like sirenita nails and it's so cute. It's kind of like this jade, pearly mermaid just pretty look for the first coat i used this polish it's called ella and mila love um and this shade is in abiza breeze and then for the top coat i used this defy and inspire wear resistant nail lacquer um it says beauty is our responsibility defy the ordinary inspire the extraordinary nine free no dbp toline formaldehyde formaldehyde rising camphor ethyl tosylamide xylene parabens triphenyl phosphate made in the u.s cruelty free nail polish this is in shade just chillin <laughs> Yeah.